So Meta did it! They officially announced Quest 3 right before the Meta Gaming Showcase as it was rumored, and we on this channel have already talked about this in a video. Although Meta said nothing about its features, but in this video I'll be breaking down the full, detailed features by looking at the headset shown to us. Before I talk about MetaQuest 3, there's another important news about MetaQuest 2. According to the company, a software update of the Quest 2 and Quest Pro chipsets will boost CPU performance by up to 26% in each case, according to what we've been told about the headset's GPUs, Quest 2's GPU speed increase could reach 19% and Quest Pro's could reach 11%. Hence, you can expect smoother gameplay, a more responsive UI, and richer content. In addition to that, Meta is enabling dynamic resolution for both Quest 2 and Pro so that games and apps can take advantage of increased pixel density. However, Quest 3 will be significantly more powerful than Quest 2. So let's jump right into the MetaQuest 3 and have a look at these controllers. Till now, render has been guessed so far, but since we have the original gear in front of us, we can see the four cameras at the front, of course, to enhance the tracking. And clearly, there isn't camera tracking or IR rings, but there are still possibilities of IR tracking. But here's my major concern. There's no camera on the top and I'm wondering how it will handle the upper reach when you're not looking at your hands directly. Let me know in the comments section what you think about that. Now, let's have a look at the most exciting piece of tech, the Quest 3 headset. To understand the improvements, we have to compare it side by side with Quest 2. It's similar in size but clearly slimmer and more compact, which is achieved by the distribution of the weight. But the most prominent feature in the headset is new strap design, which is a combination of Quest 2 and Quest Pro. In addition to that depth sensor in the middle and two tracking cameras on the bottom of the headset, USB-C port on the side and those tiny three dots on the bottom seems for the charging station and the audio. Well, we can see the speakers but don't have any clue about the audio yet. Furthermore, the supporting arms look stronger and bigger. It's very obvious and sad that you won't be able to use your Quest 2 straps and accessories for Quest 3. Anyways, it's my personal opinion. We may have confirmed data once we have the official specs announcement. Now, let's dig a bit more into the component breakdown. And if you look closely in all those black parts, you'll see a fan that is to disperse the heat. And then there we have the major upgrade, pancake lenses. But here's one more thing to look at, the facial interface. Now, the whole black part is the facial interface. The look is identical to Quest 2, but if you look closer, the frame is a bit smaller and the material looks more comfy and premium, so you can expect a better fit and an expanded field of view. Before I talk about the display, let me tell you about the backward compatibility, in case you're wondering. Your Quest 2 games won't go to waste because Quest 3 is fully backward compatible and you can experience the improved performance and visuals with your favorite titles. Talking about the display, Quest 3 would have a single LCD display, similar to Quest 2, but of better quality. And the most exciting part is that it's separated by pancake lenses. So we have displays for each eye, but here they only say higher resolution. But I don't know if this is a display per eye or if it is distributed on lenses. Now, the good thing is that we have pretty soft and rounded padding, at least around the lenses, unlike Quest 2. And right in between, we have a power button for displays. One benefit of this design is that it will be much easier to clean the lenses. Now, here's one more thing. Quest 3 is a mixed reality headset that aspires to take your experience to the next level with a new depth sensor. Imagine moving freely between the actual and virtual worlds, completely submerging yourself in extraordinary and mind-bending experiences. Now, now, I know you're all curious about the release date and pricing. Well, buckle up. The most recent information is that Quest 3 will be available in autumn at a reasonable price. Although we still need to get all the details about the available storage options, the base model will come with 128 gigabytes of storage, which is ideal for keeping your most treasured games and memories. 
and there's no reason for concern because Oculus has guaranteed a smooth upgrade path, allowing you to select the storage choice that's most appropriate for your requirements. So guys, that was all about Quest 3, and I'll see you in the next video.